this is Kurt's amp um, that he built by hand, correct? Correct, yeah. Point to point wiring. Point to point wiring. And these are five volt filament tubes? Six. Six volt. Six point three. three. And uh, do you know the numbers offhand? Yeah, there's six N1, which is a stereo triode in the middle there, and two six P1s, uh, which are high speed Russian um, video tubes. Wow. That were used for. Uh, Russian video tubes. That's what they are. Uh, and the original tubes. One of them was defective, and I ordered from Riverside Audio a tested and very closely matched set of 6P1s. So, got really excellent output tubes on there. And you bought, what, what was the caption when you bought this? Caption on the ad, I mean, was there a brand, or is there a, they call it a Class A vacuum tube amp, or what would they call it? Duke Audio or some generic -y. Chinese thing, you know, I don't remember what it was, but yeah, it was one of those those, uh, you know, sort of generic brands. Nice chassis they gave you though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think I think really hardware wise it's pretty decent. The um, I think the transformers are good quality on it too. And you know, for for really shipped from China, $140, you could not come close with anything else, really. How many watts per channel? We got about four watts per channel with this thing. And it's got different taps for different ohms? Well, it's got four and eight Four taps. and eight ohm taps on there, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was, a, it was a challenge to build. Uh, it comes with a schematic with Chinese on it and a parts list entirely in Chinese, so you have to figure out what you're doing to put this together. And I actually drew up a stereo version of the schematic just to make things clearer for people in the future to build this because it's a little confusing because you have things that sort of share circuitry and it's hard to decide should I have two of these or do they share it or what you can't really determine that from a mono schematic so I, I got a lot of help from the internet on that so they only give you a mono schematic and not a complete schematic yep and the other thing is that they um, the power supply on this is built for 110 volts so when I first hooked it up, I measured the voltage on those filaments, and we were over 7 volts, which is way out of spec for a 6.3 volt filament. So there's actually a resistor, power resistor, in line with those filaments to uh, get them down. To, they're perfect at 6.3 volts. They're, they actually measure right on with that resistor in place. So that was that's the one mod. Otherwise, it's as it was, out of the box.